Welcome guys, let's go to another photograph. Uh, and this one, it's still from Alentejo, Portugal. It's from the church in Evra. And I, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really glad I have a special satisfaction about this photograph because you get it when you have a little more patience, you know? So let's check it out. <laughs> This is a, it's another good example. This is the biggest church in Évora. So it's a very touristic place. There was hundreds of people walking by this day. And it's, it's, it's a challenge to photograph very touristic places, you know, those places that everyone will take a photograph and many, many more have already photographed. So now it's your turn. What are you gonna do? You're gonna make that same photograph that everybody already did and many more will do, or you will try to find something different. I'm always looking for something different, something a little different take out of a subject that's been photographed so many times. So I'm walking and I'm like, oh, there's nothing here nothing really new. I find this hallway, this corridor, and I'm like, wow, this is beautiful, right? This structure here is beautiful, it's amazing. This looks like hundreds of years old. I decide to just wait a little bit, just to see if somebody interesting will pass by. And then I realize there's this guy right there, and he's a monk, and he's making pictures. But I have a lot of people passing here, and I uh, had people walking by around here as well. And this guy is taking pictures and, and it's really, you know, it's really cool. Because that is a little less ordinary, right? A monk taking pictures in this beautiful church. It's a little less common than just a, somebody else taking a picture, right? So I say, hey, maybe I'll have a picture here, but there's so many people walking by. I, I don't want that. I, I, I'd like to have this place quiet. I'd like to be able just to scream and say, hey, you, get out of there. Let me make my photograph. But I can't. I cannot do that. It's not how this thing works. Sometimes it's going to be like that, but not here, not on this job. I'm doing a photojournalistic job here, so I'm not allowed I'm not allowed to mess up with things here. So what do I do? I wait. That's, that's the name of the game. Patience. Patience will bear nice photographs. So I wait. And then luck, luck comes in as well. Because this guy, I'm waiting to the moment where nobody else will be there. But I'm running the risk of this guy getting bored as well and leaving just like everybody else. But he's still there. He's still taking his photos. And then I have the moment. And I'm telling you, it, took, it was only a matter of seconds that there was nobody here. And he was still there. So I make this photo. Click, click, click. I don't know. A few clicks. And then he's gone. So that was it. I had this little window of time. Right? And before, when I was still, there was people there. I'm photographing because I want to see how it's going to look like. How do I want this to look? Do I want him to, I don't know, do I want this to be dark? Do I want to be a low-key image where most of the photograph is in the dark areas? Or do I want it to be a high-key image with maybe a lot of light coming where we will start losing detail, but then we're going to have that glow you can control that in your camera. If you overexpose it a little bit, you're going to start having a glow here. And if you underexpose it a little bit, how I did, you start to have more detail here. You start to have shadows here. And then I think it's a more pleasing photograph overall. So this was a good mixture. This was a very good mixture of finding a place and you just wait. It can be half an hour, it can be one hour, two hours just wait until something interesting happens and you're there to photograph and you get ready when the moment comes 
So let me give you a little bit of the information behind here. So it's, uh, I'm using the 28 millimeter lens still. This is my 2470 lens. I'm just using it on the 28 part. 100 ISO. I'm wide open, 2.8 on my aperture. And my shutter is a, a very dangerous shutter, 20. This could easily shake this thing, right? I could, I could go, I could bump my ISO to say 800 here. So it would give me what? Three more stops. So I wouldn't have to do a shutter so slow like this. But I think I was a little bit nervous that things were moving, happening fast. I didn't pay so much attention to it. And then, you know, there's that good old technique when in a situation like this, and that's what I'm doing right there, you just press the camera to your face. You know you're swimming in dangerous waters when you're photographing at 20. You press the camera, you hold your breath, and you shoot. It's a good chance you're not going to shake it. So that's exactly what I was doing here. Just being not breathing and pressing the camera to my face, right? Because I definitely was nervous. I found the guy and people are passing by and then the moment somebody, the last guy just hides in here, I do my clicks and then this guy goes away as well. I love this image. All right, that was another one. So please, if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Don't forget to hit the like button and, you know, share this with your friends. You know, I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I'm, I'm enjoying doing this. So get back to another episode in the future. All right. Bye.